Good day and welcome to another video tutorial. This one depicts how to um, configure CentOS as a mail server. Um, I've recently realized that when you do the installation and you select um, mail server, when you click on customize now, when you're now installing CentOS, it may make it a little more challenging to configure the postfix and of cut services based on what I have read and understand so far. Now, I probably shouldn't say like that. What, what I should probably say is um, the instructions for installation or configuring that I've found seems to be simpler when you have to do the whole yum install postfix and yum install dovecut from fresh. Um, so let me go and show you a basic couple of steps what I did. You have install Postfix. Now when I click enter, you would see that it's already installed so nothing will happen, right? <coughs> I'm also using the, the asterisk um, VM that I used earlier to, to show you how to do VoIP services. Right, so this says Postfix already installed, nothing to do. I made sure I configured it properly before coming to test it out because I don't want to have any hiccups or no problems. This is a lengthy process and I'm just tired right now. Yum install dove cut. You see, the same thing is already installed. Right. So, what do we do next? I'm going to configure the main.cf file, which basically is responsible for um, postfix, which is really the, the sending mail, the mail transfer agent, I should say, the mail transfer agent um, in Linux. Right, so what do you think we need to configure here? Put uh, my host name, put your real host name like I did. Um, also, my domain, put your domain just like I did. Okay, um, the other configuration was to remove the comment, the number says a number sign here. I removed it. Uh, the my origin parameter specifies that the domain that locally posted mail appears to come from. The default is to append my host name, which is fine for small sites. If you run a domain with multiple machines, you would use one. You should use one. Change this to my domain and two set up a domain wide alias database. All right. So we don't have to do that. Just have to uncomment uh, my origin as well as you need to remove the the comment that was here there was a comment here and i think um somewhere here the second or third one would have been empty so i commented the second or third one and i uncommented and it interfaces all all right into well and interfaces as we it well interfaces right the name gave it away um don't worry about that just do that and you'll be good to go um don't want to be too long and explain every everything. My destination, I uncommented this one and I put a comment. I think there was a, I think there was no comment here. Sorry, I think there was no comment here, and I put a comment here and I removed the comment from the second line because of what followed. Because if you read it carefully, there would be a difference. But a lot of time to explain every every nitty gritty detail. Um, right, my networks. You gotta include your network, um, your network address here. Uh, my network address is 192.168.2.0 slash 28, and that's what it's depicting here. I'm going to route mail for for devices on this network and this network only. Um, what else? I think that's it. 
yeah that's it for yeah that was it for the post fix you gotta close off that close it off i'm not saving any changes because i didn't make any changes that was beneficial for being successful um now we also gotta do a couple of things before i forget you gotta do you gotta stop service send me you know stop you may have sent me running in the background i don't i stopped it already but you need to run this command to stop your service as well as you need to run this command alternatives um, config mta right um you gotta select which one you want um, enter, enter to keep the current selection or type selection number I wanted postfix, so that's why I've selected postfix. You should do the same if you want to get it configured and working like all miners. Um, what else? I also ran the check config um, postfix command on so as to make sure postfix boots. Sorry, postfix starts uh, when the machine boots. What else did I do for postfix? I think that was uh, I just put the service on. Service postfix on. That was it. When screw up anything, there was that. Uh, start stop. Uh, da, da, da. Okay. Right. Next thing I have to do is do a yum install dove cut if you don't have it already i already have it installed so i don't need to run it but just for your sake i'm doing that come on quickly let me know that it's already installed without time to waste good nothing to do so already have top cut installed now because i chose to do the installation of the asterisk um vm um this asterisk sorry this asterisk has sent to S5 on it, and as a result, I would have dove cut 1. And if you have sent to S6, you'd have dove cut 2. I wanted to do it on this type of purely command line, command line um, interface. Kind of getting familiar with the command line a little bit. Um, what else? What else? So I got dove cut installed. Now you got to configure dove cut. Um, what is it? What is it? What is it? Text editor, nano, that's what I use. Um, right now inside the cut what you're looking for you're gonna remove the comment that have been a comment here by protocol they're gonna remove that and you have one more thing to remove let me see if I could find it just now no two more things um, I can't remember. I've been playing around with Dove Cuts for hours now. I can't remember. And I've been playing around with both Dove Cut 1 and Dove Cut 2. If your disabled plain text authentication is equal to no or yes, I don't know what yours would be, but you can uncomment it and leave it just like on miners to get your mail server working. Um, what else? I have to uncomment one more thing. Um, it's a pop three setting. Hope I could find it. All this text here. Right, pop three setting. Right, it'll be somewhere here. Um, well, it should be somewhere here. Uh, right, this is it here. Pop tree underscore UIDL underscore format. You need to uncomment this line as well. After you uncomment this line, you save and log out and do the same thing. Do a service dove cut start. Was not started already. I thought I was one already. Anyway, nevertheless, 
and do a check and fig dot cut on and I think that should be it open your mail clients I already have it configured here and test it working but I'm going to remove the account and let's see remove the account Yeah, where really you could have like deleted all the mail and so on. Okay, cool. Remove, okay. Okay, with that, I don't think that's what I wanted to do. No, the last one was it off. And I also want to show you how to do it in both uh, shots. Configure both your um, shots. Yes, no. Right. I hope that this would work properly now. How do I get that old account out of there? Hmm, not sure. Anyhow, let me go and do it over again. Preferences, add. Oh, I need to show you how to add users. I didn't do that. User add. I used the user. Oh, that's desperate. I click user add user, and then I'm going to use add user too. All right then. Password user two. And let me do a user add user three. Right, so let's get to two users, user two and user three. So let's go into evolution and I hope this works properly. It doesn't give me any trouble. I really don't have time to do this over. Um Well, let me prove to you this is the mail server. Let me do I have config show you the IP address. The IP address I'm working with is 192.168.14.192.168.2.14, right? I'm using pop instead of IMAP. Um, 192.168.2.14. Use it to Tech supported types. The reason I like evolution, it tells you what the server will accept, which configuration the server will accept. So the server is currently accepting authentication only via password. Right? Remember the password. Go forward. Go forward. SMTPD server is 192.168.2.14. And I think that should be it. However, if I were to click here just to confirm, would it show me no? Because it doesn't require authentication. Okay, I think that should be it. Well, I still wanted us to use Outlook because Outlook is the most common uh, mail client. So I'm going to configure. How do I like, get rid of this? Then I wish I could get rid of this all the mail or whatever in a particular way. Oh boy, whatever. I'm coming to new as the tools account settings new manually configure um user tree user tree at silver dot tt 192.168.2.14 This is going to be one long video, my goodness. Password test. Good. 
so let's send mail between both parties um, user2 at server.tt um, advanced class our group is any for the group project Right, so I send the mail from Windows Outlook and I'm going to receive it on CentOS. Uh, why is this here? Let's know. Why am I seeing old mail? I don't want to see old mail. Right, so this is mail I was sent right before your eyes so that's basically how to configure a meal server on centos thanks for watching Let's see.